Hey everyone, how's it going? I know it's been a very, very long time since last time I've done a video. Yeah, a lot has happened. I've been trained to become a butcher at the moment. I'm working on saving up for a tiny house. There's a bunch of other stuff that's just been going on in my life and I've just kind of put this to the side. Um, but I'm gonna try and change that. I'm gonna try and change that. I think I can and get back into the rhythm because I really do miss this and I really want to you know, jump back into it. All that being said, today we're gonna to be reviewing a knife that I thought was 100% illegal in Canada, but apparently it's not. Today, we are going to look at the Civivi button lock. Let's get right into it. So I bought this from House of Knives, which all you people who don't know, House of Knives is a Canadian company. So I know that this is legal in Canada because a Canadian company has been uh, distributing it. But let's just get into this and then I'll explain my, I guess, quote unquote concern. So yeah, this is the box, pretty simple, very self-explanatory, it's a, it's a box. Inside the box, you're gonna get the typical Civivi pouch and inside you will get a microfiber cloth and the manual and a sticker. Now, I don't know what it is with um, Civivi, but they also gave me like a bunch of other stickers Apparently Civivi's been sending a bunch of stickers out. So, I mean, if you're a big sticker guy, that worked great for you. And the most important part, the part you guys all came for, the actual knife itself. Now, just to let you guys know, I've been carrying this knife for a couple months now, so there's some wear and tear on it, just the heads up. But this knife is what is called a button lock knife. Basically, the knife locks, right, when the button is pushed and vice versa, when it's closed, she won't open unless the button is deployed. So I'll just get the specs out of the way quick. The overall length of this knife is eight inches long. Uh, you have a blade length about three, about three and three quarter inches. Um, it has a closing length of four inches and it has a blade thickness of 0 0.12. Anyways, this is a really cool little knife. I really like it. I like the look of it. I have some customizations I'm gonna be doing to it, but here's my concern about this knife. Well, not my concern. My thing, I was like, this is interesting. This is interesting. In Canada, there are some knives that are legal and some knives that aren't. Fixed blades are legal, folding knives are legal, um, spring assisted, not spring automatics, but spring assisted knives are legal. And there's a bunch of other knives that are legal. Knives that are illegal in Canada are things like switch blades, gravity knives, butterfly knives, automatic knives. So like a push of a button, it uh, snaps open. Those knives are illegal in Canada. I still think it's kind of stupid, but that's, that's a whole other conversation. This knife, when I first saw it like online, they said a lot of places, this knife is gonna be considered a gravity knife. What is a gravity knife? A gravity knife is a blade that when you click a button, it will open from the side using gravity. So basically hold the knife downwards. When you click the button, the knife will fall out right towards the ground, right? and then putting it into a locking position. Now there are some that are, you know, they open forward and there are some that open from the side, but that's basically what gravity knives are. So isn't this not a gravity knife? Because when I open it going downward, it falls out. And that's the real confusing part for me. See, there's the button lock knives are legal in Canada, but most button lock knives, I mean like literally 99% of button lock knives either has a thumb tab, oh sorry, a thumb screw or a back tab or something to deploy it and then to release it, they use the button, right? And so that's why button lock knives are legal because the action is all coming mostly from the thumb stud or from the back piece. Oh, why can't I think of the name? This knife, it's both ways with the button. That's what confuses me because technically, by their own definition, this is a gravity knife. Now, I highly recommend doing the research yourself and let me know what you guys think, but by Canada's definition, wouldn't this not be a gravity knife? So why is it legal in Canada? I think literally the only reason I can think of this being legal is because it has the name button lock on it because button lock knives are legal and because this is called the bucket button lock knife, then I guess it's legal. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, this is technically a gravity knife by Canadian standard. Now, you can carry this legally in Canada. You have no problems with that. It's fine to carry this thing. I'm just saying. 
All that being said, love the knife. Beautiful, beautiful blade, and it has a beautiful belly to it, and it just feels so good. I don't, I'm not a big fan of G10. This is um, gray G10, whatever, whatever. I'm not a big fan of that, but other than that, this is a beautiful knife. Nice deep carry pocket clip, and a lot of nice back um, accents to it. Uh, black accents and the stone wash blade looks great. I'm gonna continue carrying this knife. I've talked to many people They don't know why it's legal, but they say it is just because it's called the button lock knife So I guess you get what you get and by the way this knife is Fidgety like my goodness this knife is fidgety. You can just all day just open and close it and have no problems with it <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you own one of these or carry one of these. And if you're Canadian, let me know if you will carry one of these because this knife is a beautiful, it's fast to deploy, and it looks sharp. So all that being said, that is my review of the knife. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I got nothing else to say. Stay tuned. A video probably will be coming out of me uh changing out these scales i want to try a dark walnut scale i don't know if it's possible we'll see what happens i would love to do some customization to this knife anyways thank you so much for watching guys we will catch you in the next video like and subscribe if you have any questions let me know i'll do my best to answer it talk to you later